Anyways, now we got to part of the good part. What do you which one was is is Ludwig Kaiser? Was he Marcel or Fabian? I wasn't sure. I was actually hoping you would know. Because he just the other day on NXT to recap, and it's hard to remember all this, even though it was less than a week ago as we were recording. One of the Imperium members turned on the other one, and then Walter lost to Braun Breaker. And I thought that other guy, okay, now he's out of Imperium. Now it's going to be Walter and the other heel guy that turned on him. Nope, that guy's with Walter now. I don't know what happened to the other well, guy. Wait a minute, the one that turned on him. <laughs> All right. Anywho, uh, Ludwig Kaiser, who is either Fabian or Marcel in a previous existence on the on the other brand on the same network. Um, no, this is SmackDown. They're on a different network. He is in a spotlight and he introduces the man who is the epitome of efficiency and elegance. That sounds like the big build for fucking Liberace, doesn't it? Efficiency and elegance. I guess so. Yeah. The epitome of efficiency and elegance. And then he did it in German too. And out comes, of course, it's Walter. They're calling him Gunther, but not the fans that are chanting Walter. McAfee tried to cover up for that. Did you hear that? He goes, they're yes. chanting Gunther. No, they were yeah, clearly no, they're chanting they're Walter. Chanting, there's no L in Gunther. <laughs> um, so what foolishness I'm thinking. And here comes Walter in a giant red overcoat that looked like, I don't, it looked like the same style that Mary Tyler Moore would wear in the early 60s Dick Van Dyke <laughs> show. With the big buttons on the front and everything? I'm not, is it... It's a Halston. Is it supposed to be reminiscent somehow of of an of a military-type uniform or what? Yes, yeah, Stalin-esque. Um, but, but anyway, and, and, and the other fella, old Ludwig, Ludwig, they should have just called him Ludwig Borga. That would have got some heat somewhere. Uh, he's dressed in a... A track suit, still, kind of, right? It's this matching colors, but he's in a... So I don't know what their deal is, but he, he still looks badass. Even if they change his name, they put him in fucking Rosemary's fashions, whatever, he still looks badass. And they showed B-roll of his action highlights, and then this was exactly what should be done. They matched him up, on his first appearance on SmackDown with the up-and-comer Joe Alonzo. Brian, did you, did you see any of Joe Alonzo's previous matches? I've never heard of him before, never saw him before. Exactly. You're probably not going to see him again because he's a backdrop to show us what Volter does. And that's what he did. He swarmed this guy. He was aggressive. He mauled him. He manhandled him. There was different types of offense than you see from, you know, all the rest of the guys, and he bullied him some, and he hit a few of those hard chops, and he power-bombed him, and he stacked him up and beat him. One, two, three. Perfect. That's exactly what he should have done his first time on television. You showcase a guy's strengths. You fucking show the people what he can do. You make him look dominant and impressive, and you put in the people's mind, well, I wonder how he good he's going to be when he gets in the ring with so-and-so that I like. You don't have him come out and have a fucking 10-minute competitive match with a guy that's been on the television program repeatedly before and lost repeatedly or was competitive repeatedly with fucking middle card guys because then the people mentally have pigeonholed them and then they gauge how they take the newcomer by how he interacts with the people that they're familiar with this is not fucking rocket surgery or brain science and walter has got great facials it is something though seeing the weight loss someone posted the other day i saw on social media Okay, before and after of him, whatever, a year ago, year and a half ago, and him now. And it is remarkable, and it is something seeing him in his new physical shape on that show, which looks different than NXT or any of the indies he was working for. 
I wonder if he would be more effective if he still had some of that weight on him right now. And I also wonder about his gut health. Well, I tell you what, I don't know for sure. And he reminds me of Killer Kowalski. I was about to say that before That's he even took the left turn because Killer Kowalski, now Walter was a pudgy fellow, still uh, 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 aggressive and big and fearsome looking, but he was he was pudgy, whereas Kowalski earlier in his career was a bodybuilder with a physique like Tarzan. But then Kowalski went through a period where he decided to change his ways, change his eating habits, change his diet, and so did Volter in order to drop some weight and be healthier. And you may not be, folks out there, six feet seven, like Killer Kowalski, or six feet five, like Volter, or 300 pounds to start out with, but gut health is important, as you mentioned, young Brian Last. You thought I'd never get back to that. Gut health is important, especially determining your prebiotics and your probiotics and your proprietary formulations because they <laughs> scientifically study the dosages of these things. And if you're out of sync and out of whack with your probiotics through your prebiotics into your postbiotics and the digestive tract of the bloating and the regularity, you're all screwed up. So how can you get this all back in sync? It's simple. You start with a little seed. That's right, folks. Not a seed you plant, but a seed that you visit. Seed.com. Because seed.com is a probiotic, a daily, a daily symbiotic with a broad spectrum two-in-one probiotic and prebiotic. So as we've mentioned before many times on the program, you get your pre and your pro in one dose. It's a proprietary formulation of 24 distinct probiotics. They not, that's not that they stink, they're distinct probiotic strains in scientifically studied dosages. And you ought to see these doctors, they've got studying this stuff. They put the little thing in their eye like a jeweler, and they look at all those amoebas and all those microscopic organisms, and they figure out what gets through your digestive tract to ensure delivery to your colon. Because a good colon delivery, at least a couple times a week, will help keep everybody in the house in a good mood. It's a proprietary engineered two-in-one capsule that protects the probiotics through the digestion to ensure delivery to the colon. Now, folks, if you've, like all of us, if you've taken your probiotics before and, the, and you never felt a difference it's simply because you weren't getting the delivery to your colon. That probiotic was falling out somewhere along the way, whether it may be for a, a place that was left open accidentally in your last surgery or just an open orifice. It wasn't going all the way to your colon. Well, the daily symbiotic from seed is designed differently, and that's why it gets all the way into your colon over and over and over again. And it supports benefits in and beyond the gut, all the way up to your throat sometimes. And uh, that whole thing is connected there. You know, when you think about it, your mouth is really connected to your asshole. What? And there's, there's just a, a, a few things in between, but it's pretty much a straight route. So seed well, will support ease of bloating, healthy regularity, <laughs> and ease of evacuation. There may be some twists and turns. Well, there's twists and turns in everything, but it's the same. <laughs> it's the same highway. It's and, and, <laughs> so, oh. all right. Back to the highway. Yeah, but it supports your <laughs> this highway, folks, from one to the other. And boy, I tell, it's easier to go one way on this highway than it is to go the other way. <laughs> Although. If you tried, I guess you could go all the way down and back, but we don't recommend that return trip. Part, part of it is unimproved highway. It'll also support your gut barrier, skin health, heart health, and micronutrient synthesis. 
is what this will do for you, this daily symbiotic from seed. Hey, if you don't believe me, and, and who would doubt my word after this, then all you got to do is go to seed.com. That's S-E-E-D dot com slash drive and use the code drive to get 20% off your first month of Seed's Daily Symbiotic. You can start a new healthy habit today. That's right, seed.com slash drive. Use the code drive. Now, of course, on that highway, we're talking about driving all the way down, but once again, at your own risk, drive all the way back. <laughs> that's how we're, that's not how we're ending this spot. <laughs> seed, try Seed, ladies and gentlemen. They're a great sponsor. Yes, they're obviously yes, good they're the people. And also, they give you the tube marked germs <laughs> that, that you can that not you can germs, take. bacteria, bacteria. That's germs. What <laughs> <laughs> You've got a tube. It's labeled bacteria, and I want to. I want to take that on a commercial plane so bad and hold it up and go, all right, it's going to go this way. Ladies and gentlemen, check out Seed. Let them know where you heard about them. Yeah, <laughs> and- don't let them know everything you heard, but let them know <laughs> that we told you to buy their shit. You'll get 20% off if you do. That's right. What was the link again? Seed.com slash drive and use the code DRIVE.